Hi, this is Marisol Medina, your instructor for Pro 109 at Bellevue College. Today I'm going to show you how to start your artifact number three, the rhombus. So what is the rhombus actually? Well, I call it a rhombus, but what we want to have is a way to create this shape. We want to be able to create it on a bigger size, on a small size. And the other thing that I want to do is that every single element on every single part can have the different colors. One color for the even position and one color for the odd position. And also that you can change the symbol that is going to be used when you create the rhombus. The way this works is when the user have input these values, when the user click display rhombus, this shape is going to appear. Let's look at it a little bit bigger. As you can see, this shape was created using four different sections that we are going to call them divs in CSS. This is a section for the up left. This is a section for, sorry, up right, down right, up left, and down left. We only want to use CSS to create this assignment. So what do you need to follow? me on this video. You need access to your Bellevue College Canvas account for Pro 109. You need the description of your artifact number three assignment. You need your JSB or your own editor. And I'm going to use a workspace as my hosting site, but you can use your own site. Now let's get started. So I'm having already my JSB open. Make sure that you are signing in so you don't lose anything on your, um, on your work. And also have the description of the assignment in Canvas. So you can read through the objectives, the specification, but basically I already provide you the initial guideline. This is the one that I'm going to explain today. I already opened this in a new tab. The first thing that I want to do is to copy and paste the initial code that I provide you. So I'm going to highlight this, the HTML code, and going to copy this into my JSP. This is my HTML code. I'm going to do the same for the JavaScript code. And I'm also going to do the same that for my CSS code. So let me start by explaining the HTML code. So I'm going to close CSS. I'm going to close JavaScript. As you can notice, I created those inputs using uh, form elements. Every single element has an ID. I'm going to highlight them so you can see them. This is an ID. This other one is an ID. The color, oops, is an ID. And the ID symbol has an ID. The reason why we want to have IDs is because this is a very simple way that allows us to find those elements using JavaScript. JavaScript has a method or the, the document object has a method that is called get element by ID. Uh, by using that get element by ID, we can actually get the values entered by the user. Let's scroll down and you will see how this works. In this assignment we are using events and this is not right now the um, most efficient way to do it and the recommended use way to do it but I'm going to use it because it's the first one that you are going to see in a lot of JavaScript code until we get to objects. So when the user click on display rhombus, what we have here is actually JavaScript code. This is a function. The function is create rhombus. This function has four parameters. Parameters are values that are being sent and those values can be different anytime we call the functions. Those values are received by the function create rhombus and that function is going to do something 
that it's going to allow us to display the rhombus. Now, let me explain to you also what else is in here. As you can see, I do have four divs. Those four divs are for each part of my rhombus. On this video, we are just going to populate the upright and the downright, but later on, you need to do the up left and the down left part. So I put this rhombus in here just so you can see that this is in here, but we can actually delete it. So this is what you're supposed to have initially. So when the user click display rhombus, this is what we have. We have the upright and we have the downright side. So how this is being created? Let me explain to you the JavaScript code. So let me open JavaScript and let's close HTML so you can see the code. As I told you, we have this main function, create function. It has four parameters. It has the value height, it has the color even, color odd, and symbol. Those are the values that were entered by the user here, phi, blue, pink, and the symbol asterisk. Inside of the function create rhombus, we have two other functions that are going to receive exactly the same parameters. So you can ask, why do you have one function and inside you have two other functions? Well, you know, there are different ways to do this. I just want to do it this way. Inside of the function upright, we are receiving exactly the same values. The high, the color even, the color odd, and the symbol. What we are going to do in this function is to build HTML code. You can see here that there is an asterisk with one color, then is another asterisk here with another color. This is the first row is a paragraph. The second row is a paragraph. The third row is a paragraph and so on. So we are going to use loops to create this side of the rhombus. As you can notice, there are two loops. This first four that ends in here, and the internal four, the outside four, is used to build every single line. So if the user enter five here, we are creating one, two, three, four, five lines. So this is this external loop. Every line starts with a paragraph, and this is what we are creating the paragraph in here. So this line is this one. Now the second four defines how many asterisks we are going to print per line. So the first line only need to have one asterisk. This is how we are controlling this we have two variables. We start in zero and we are going to stop on the line that the outside four is telling us. So on this case, we have line zero and we are going to build as many symbols as the line. So we are gonna start here by printing just one asterisk. The second part is to ask whether or not that position is even or odd. This here is called a model, modulus function. So when we divide a value by two, if we have a remainder, this is gonna be an odd value. If we don't have a remainder, this is going to be an even value. So this is how we are controlling which color to print. So if we don't have any remainder, we are gonna use the color even. If we have a remainder, that is gonna be the odd position, we are going to print it with the color odd. And once we finish this internal loop, we are going to close that paragraph. And go back to our four. So we started in zero. Now 
we are going to increase that value by 1 and the next time we are going to build to start creating that second line. And we are going to keep doing exactly the same process until we get to 4, not 5, because this is less than the p height. But because we are starting in 0, we have line 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. At the end, we are going to have 5 lines. So this is the function for the upright. The function for the down right is exactly the same, but it's inverse. First, we print as many asterisks as we want, but we are going to start using the height as our guideline. So we are going to print five asterisks. We ask the same thing, whether or not every position is even or odd, and then we are going to decrease the line. So we started with five, that is four. This four is going to tell us how many asterisks we are going to print in here. And finally, once we create that HTML code, we are going to send that string to our down right position, which is the div, and we are going to use um, this property in our HTML. We are going to assign whatever we built in here to that position. This is how this is being created. Now, let me just upload this into my award space so at least you have this first part of the assignment. So the thing that I need to do is just control C or control A, control copy, and I'm going to go to my award space. I'm already logging. I'm going to create a directory for my rhombus. And inside of my rhombus, I'm going to create a file, rhombus, JavaScript. I already have this. I'm going to double click and I'm going to copy the code from my JavaScript. Now I need to get my HTML code, control copy, go back. I'm going to create the file HTML and I'm going to copy the code. And notice that here, I need to modify these. In JSBin, I don't need to reference my JavaScript code. It's already in there. But when I'm hosting it, I actually need to say, to tell this, which is my JavaScript file that I'm going to use. And not only that, I also need to tell that I'm going to use a CSS file. You have already done that, so I'm going to scroll up, and even though I don't have yet the CSS file, I can create the link. Link, relationship attribute, which is a style sheet. I need to write the type equal um, text, CSS, and then the name of the file. And it's going to be called Rumbus. So we are going to make it very, very simple. I'm going to save that. And I just need to create my CSS file, which is going to be CSS. And I already have my code. And you do too. So I'm going to activate this. I'm going to copy. And I'm going to copy this file here. Now I'm going to go back and open the HTML so I can get the link. And I'm going to open this in a new tab. And I'm going to test my display rumbus. Voila! It's working. So I'm going to create the next video that is going to give you hints on how to create the app left in the um, down left uh, for this assignment.